Hi hey everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna jump into Substance and we're gonna create uh, let's create this lens texture I've got here and also because this is going to be a very quick uh, tutorial we're gonna add the ripple effect as a normal map so uh, the lens I'm obviously using this uh, for some blinks you're gonna see in a minute when I'm gonna play the whole sequence for you and the ripple uh, normal map I'm using for the refraction Okay, so hopefully you can see the refraction as well, although I've tried to make it very subtle because I'm not a big fan of the uh, uh, of very intense refraction. Okay, so let me play. So during the cast, you're going to see the uh, the blink, the lenses. There you go. It's on the, you know, on the hammer. And obviously there are a little bit of refraction as well. So let me play it again. Okay, so two simple textures. It should be really a short tutorial, so let's jump into Substance and let's start making uh, those two. Okay, so I am going to bring the shape node. Oops, let me zoom in a little bit. And from here, I'm going to pick this thorn. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you know, I'm going to pick this pattern. And now I'm just going to try to scale it down in one of the axes just to get that little tiny line there. Okay. Uh, let me try if I can maybe increase it, maybe 1.5. I'm going to press space while in this uh, viewport just to see if it's uh, crossing onto the uh, onto the edges, creating this nasty uh, line, but it doesn't, which is good. And in here, I'm going to scale that one down maybe to uh, this value. All right, so next, I'm just going to copy this. Put it right next to it, blend it together. And that one's going to go to the top in here. I'm just going to try to see if I can just put add here. But then I'm just going to increase that one to get this really nice glow around it. And I'm going to scale it down just a bit to get this super bright spot in the middle. And now I could just go to opacity maybe and make it very subtle, maybe something like 0.4. Okay, so next let's get another blend and another shape. And I'm going to just keep adding those glows on top, increasing the uh, vertical uh, size of that glow. So as you can see, because we copied it, it remains opacity at 0.4 value. Okay, so I think that looks really cool. And the last bit I want to add, I'm going to copy the blend again, copy another shape here. However, this time I'm going to just increase it maybe to somewhere like 0.7. And for the scale, I'm going to increase it even further. Actually, let's keep this maybe one uh, on scale. Uh, for the shape, I'm going to increase it even further to maybe 2.5 now press space just to see what we get in and obviously we might have a harsh line at the end so let's maybe start reducing the scale slightly okay next i'm gonna get histogram scan histogram scan just to simulate how it might look if I'll be tweaking those values in the engine using the power node. I think you can do something similar with the contrast. So I think it might look okay. So a lot of bright data here, especially here in the middle and on the edges as well. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. And but let me plug this one in here so we get even brighter spot in the middle and let me test it with the gradient now so I can add some colors to it in here I'm just gonna add the 
uh, maybe bluish color. And as you can see, I think we, we are having a little bit overblown center here. So let me go back uh, maybe here to our first node. And I'm going to reduce the opacity in that blend node to maybe something like 0.3 because I want this to be a bit more smoother. Here as well, from 0.4 to 0.3. And in the last one, I'm going to put 0.3 as well. Okay, and finally, maybe before I'm going to add the last one, I could just get the blur grayscale here with a very low value, something like maybe let's try 0.5. Okay, maybe one, two. I think I'm just going to uh, stick uh, value one, quality to full. And let me try without it. It seems like it's a minimal change. However, we are getting a bit more data here on the edges. Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep the blurred version here and maybe increase that one to 0.4 as it was. Okay, just to get a bit more brighter a halo around it. Okay, so that's a very simple lens. And I find uh, those kind of lenses to be very useful in the engine because obviously I can tweak the contrast of it. However, if you are having issues in the engine that um, it gets, you get like a harsh line at the end, you can come back to your shape here and maybe reduce it to 1.2 or even 1 if you have to. Okay, I'm going to keep it maybe 1.3 so it doesn't go to the end. However, I still want to see that highlight in the middle. Maybe we can increase the highlight slightly just to get a bit more brighter data in the middle. Okay, so I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to keep that lens and let's do the uh, ripple in normal map for the refraction in case you need that. Now I'm going to get one of those noises. I'm going to reduce the amount. Next, I'm going to use a shape mapper. So I can map it onto the circle. Decrease the radius to zero. Increase the width to full one. And next, I would like to get rid of the center. So I'm going to use blend and I'm going to get a shape. And from shape, I'm going to pick this soft circle maybe. Here and I'm going to select subtract. And now I'm just going to start scaling that soft circle until the middle bit will disappear. Maybe do something like this. Uh, next, I'm going to blur it slightly. And I'm going to run it through maybe another blend just to get rid of that middle bit a bit more. So that will be set to uh, actually maybe multiply. So I'm going to increase it and we're going getting these soft edges at the end. Finally, I'm just going to run it through normal. In here, I'm going to increase it intensity maybe to 50 or 20. As you can see, we're getting this nasty look right now. So let's go back to our noise and let's reduce the X amount maybe to 1. You can play with the smoothness of it as well. I'm just going to keep it maximum. Get that one to maybe zero because I want to see those ripples. And I think now might be a good time to actually go back to Shape Mapper and start reducing the width just to make sure it doesn't go um, on the outside of that texture. And we have the blur grayscale here. I'm going to start reducing. So it depends how much of those ripples you actually want to see in that texture. And I think I'm just going to scale this down. Maybe to get something like uh, this. Now I'm going to blur it slightly just to get a, a bit more softer look. And in here I'm going to maybe add the X amount. Maybe let's go two. 
I think two will be already is too much, so maybe let's get down to zero. However, we can manipulate uh, those. It depends how many of those ripples you actually want or need in your texture. Mm, I do think actually I'm gonna need a couple rings here. And so let me maybe put two. I'm gonna add maybe 20 onto this one. Try those as well. Okay, and let's go to blur now. And we are getting those bumps here and there, which I really don't like. So let's go to shape mapper and try the pattern amount set to one. Okay, and now with the blur, we can increase the intensity to get a slightly softer look. And I think this is exactly what I wanted. We can always play with that shape. Maybe we can change it to something else, increase its size to be a bit more softer. And I think I'm gonna stick with bell option. Now, finally going to blur, I can reduce it. Depends how sharp I want this to be. Maybe somewhere around like this. I'm gonna scale this down. So my ripples will be a little bit more visible. Okay, so very simple map. Uh, if you want this to be even softer, you can apply maybe blur at the end as well. And as you can see, it's gonna smooth out all those uh, edges. So I'm usually, if I have a circular effect, I'm gonna use that kind of normal map for my uh, refraction. And I hope that's gonna help you a little bit with your refractions, but maybe it might be something that you wanna try. Um, but I think I wanna cover most that lens because uh, I made one of those some time ago and those look pretty cool in the engine so decided to share it with you so maybe you can experiment with those and see how they look in your effects okay obviously I'm not gonna export the gradient I'm just gonna export the, the grayscale however you can export the, the gradient if you want because you can mix the colors here as you can see you might introduce uh, various options but normally I'll just export a grayscale and probably pack it with the RGB merge and create a couple of those to see which one's gonna look best in the engine. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next one.